السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی اسٹارٹ سورا البقر تفسیر ود اے نیور اپروچ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ قرآن تفسیر بائی اے گروپ آف ورسز کیٹاگرائزڈ ان تھیمس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ دس سیریز فرام ورسز 1 ٹو 5 آف سورا البقر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پلیز واچ دا ویڈیو آن ایکسپلیننگ دس انٹائر رنگ پیٹرن فار سورا بقرہ ان دا سمری ویڈیو Today we will discuss faith and believer for verses 1 through 5. One of the main themes of Surah Al-Baqarah is guidance. We see that verse 2 speaks about guidance, then the next two verses discuss faith and the believer and in a ring pattern the topic goes back to the guidance from Allah. Now we will go into more detail with these verses. So how do we get guidance? In verse 2, we see that Allah is calling for no doubt in this book. La raiba fihi. And again we see in verse 4 that certainty, yaqeen is required for belief in the hereafter. So you come to this book with no doubt and have certainty in the hereafter and then you will be guided. And in order to receive the guidance, the precondition is to be a muttaqoon as we see in verse 2. Muttaqoon is one who has taqwa. The fear and God consciousness must already be present in the heart to be guided by the Quran. But if someone is approaching the Quran to contradict it or to change its laws, they will not be guided. So we need the heart to acknowledge its creator and recognize who is the author of the Quran. Verse 5 makes a very important connection that the muttaqoon receive the guidance directly from Allah through the Quran which is our connection with Allah. So verse 5 also states that it is the muttaqoon who attain the ultimate success as measured by Allah and not by the measurement of our worldly success. Please note in verse 2 though the translation says this is the book The actual word is zalika which means that referring to something far away because there is a written version of the Quran in the Allahul Mahfuz the preserved tablet which is with Allah Now let's talk about faith and the believer another important theme in these verses In verse 3 belief in the unseen is mentioned which is very important and we will speak about this a bit later Within verses 3 and 4 we observe two important principles of faith belief and action we need the belief or faith relating to all matters of the unseen unlike the people who have to see to believe you need faith in all the revelation from Allah and belief in the hereafter and with faith we see action is required as with the establishing of prayer and spending We see the ending verses of Surah Al-Baqarah also discuss faith and dua of the believer which is part of action. Verse 285 which we will study at the end of this surah highlights belief in all the revelations which is also part of faith. So Surah Baqarah begins and ends in the same way with verses on faith and the believer. Please check out my book on Amazon where I explore the verse connections of surah al-baqarah and al-imran as shown here if you have benefited from this video please like subscribe comment and keep watching this series assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh